Mamativo. The word given as the first example is Ma Ma Mama Tivo. So what is the possibility of Sandhi here? Again, we can see R. So R can be, there are four options for R. It can be A, 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 and A, A. Four options. Yes? For A. But what is the rule? Meaningful word. So if I say, Mama, there is no meaning to word mama. What is the meaningful word? Mama. Mama, mama has meaning. Mama. So mama. Mama is again mine. Mine. It's genitive case again. Mama. Mine. Mama. And the second word can be either starting with a or starting with o. Is there any word like ativa or ativa? So there is a word called as ativa. We have learned the word ativa in indeclinables. So ativa is indeclinable. So then a plus a gives you a. So that is the first one. Understood? Yes. So you have to complete the whole 20 are given or yes, 20 are given. Sometimes it is dissolve the sandhi, sometimes it is join the sandhi. Both ways it is given in the exercise. Okay, clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. One example of join? Okay. Let's take the example of sixth one. Tava plus anandaha. Tava, sixth one is join. Anandaha. We have drawn the whole chart now, so it's very easy now. What you have to see? A plus A. What happens? A plus A changes to A. Tavananda. So that is the example of joining the same. Clear? So that was first worksheet. Then there was one more, which was of Upapada Vibhakti. What is Upapada Vibhakti, which we learned last week? There are some indeclinables or some verbs which require particular case to be used. We learned, for example, if you remember, Saha always governs instrumental case. We have learned that. So there was a list made. So same exercise is given here. The first example, let us see the first example of the yesterday's worksheet. Do you need light? These two tube lights? Do you need light? No. no. It's not clear. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Okay. You need. I don't know how it is clear on. Satyaji, can you tell us? Sunilji, I don't know whether he's attending or what. Okay. So the first. Yeah. Sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it looks oh, good when it is enclosed. The first example. Let me write the first example on board. There is a mistake. I think I heard. Yes, there is a mistake. It should be G capital. G capital. 
I have made a mistake. It's a proper name. So Geeta Atriva Ravina. We have learned this word Pravina, which is an adjective. And which takes which case, which case is required with Pravina? Locating, yes, the right. So, what is the meaning of Pravina? Expert, very good, skilled. So, Gita is some girl who is skilled, expert in something. What is that? There are four options given. Gana Kale, Gana Kalayam, Gana Kalayaha and Gana Kalam. Four options are given. In these four options, two words are in locative. There are two words in locative. Gana Kale and Gana Kalayam. Yes, Gana Kale and Gana Kalayam. There are two options given which are in locative. But, but, Gana kale, there is no word like color. There is a word called kala. Kala means art. Gana kala means art, singing, singing art, art of singing. So kala is the word. Kala is the word which is ending in a. So locate you of kala. Kala. Ya. So the answer, correct answer is. Because Kala is feminine word. So locative of Kala, it's Kala Yam. Gana Kala means art of singing. Art of singing. Gana is singing. Kala is art. Singing, yes. Art of singing. So, Gita Gana Kalayam Ativa Pravina means Gita is very expert in the art of singing. So, she is best at singing. She is very good at singing. Grammar or tongue? Meaning? What you didn't understand? Meaning or grammar? Okay. Gita is a proper noun. A girl. A girl named as Gita. Gita is a proper noun. There is a girl whose name is Gita. Okay? And she is expert. Praveena means expert. Skilled. Very skilled. Not only skilled. Ativa is very skilled. Very skilled in what? Because you have used the word Praveena and Praveena tells us to use locative case. So, in what she is expert, that should be used in locative. Now, there are four options given this exercise. There are four options. Gana Kale, Gana Kalayam, Gana Kalayaha and Gana Kalam. Four options given. Gana Kalam is accusative. So, out. Gana Kalayaha, ablative or genitive. So, out. So, two options are left. Gana Kale and Gana Kalayam. Option A and option B. Option A, sorry. Not B. A and A. Two options. A or A option. Now, this Gana Kale is not possible because the root word is Kala ending in A. If the word is ending in a, the locative case is not kale. It's kalayam. So, gana kalayam is the correct option. That means the a option is correct. Yes, it's, it's a option. So, the a option, gana kalayam, is the correct answer. You have to choose the correct answer. Yes. Understood? Yes. So now it's clear. We are singing very skilled. She is skilled in singing. Yes. Or she, you can see, no, no need to translate word by word. She is good in singing. She is good in singing. She sings very well. 
You can change the sense. Word to word translation will be she is skilled in singing. She is expert in singing. So, how do you know Ravina is a nominative case? Ravina is not in locative case. Ravina is in a nominative case because it is adjective of Gita. Gita is nominative and Pravina is also in nominative. But Pravina is the word which we have list in our list. Check our list, which I taught you last week. Pravina was used there for locative. Expert, skilled. Check your list, Pravina. Pravina, Daksha, Kushala, all words were written. Nipuna, Pravina, Daksha, Kushala. Check your list. Locative. So there is word Pravina used there. Because the word Pravina is used, you have to use. Because the word Pravina is used, you have to use. Which case we have learned? Locative. Got it? So, what I taught you last week, this is the exercise of it. What I taught you in the class, this is exercise of that. So, you have to check the word, which case it takes, and that case you have to write that as the answer. Let's take one more example. Second example also. Let's take one more. Second example. Dash Namaha. Second example. Dash Namaha. We have learned Namaha governs which case? Dative. So there are four options. Sadhun, Sadhupya, Sadhun, Sadhuna and Sadhubhiri. So which word is used in dative? Second option, sadhu bhyaha. Bhyaha comes in dative. So sadhu bhyaha namaha is the correct answer. Got it? So option A is again correct. Sadhu bhyaha. Option A. Option A, sadhu bhyaha namaha. Bhyaha. Because bhyaha used in dative. What is sadhu? Meaning of sadhu? Hmm? What is meaning of sadhu? Hmm? Good person, well behaved person, sadhu. So sadhu pyaha namaha. I go to a person who is very good. Sadhu pyaha namaha. Sadhu can be used for a beggar also. Sadhu can be used for monk also. Many meanings for word sadhu. Did you understand? Yes? Nine. Don't go sata. So, I think the third one is the third one. I don't know. 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 Right. Yes, sadhu, if it is indeclinable, then it's right. Right, okay, all those meanings, sadhu, good, okay. If it is used as indeclinable, but here it is not used as indeclinable. So sadhu word is also indeclinable, sadhu word is noun also. Okay? Uh, name is good person. Name is? This means? Name. 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 Sadhu is not name. No name. Sadhu usually not name. Sadhu, many meanings as I said. A good person, mom, uh, ascetic, many meanings. Okay, so that was the second worksheet. Well, in that second worksheet, you have to check the word used in the sentence, find out the case which is to be used, and use that case. Is that clear? So now complete those two worksheets before next Monday. Today, we will start with a new topic now. Okay.
<laughs> because you have come across sadhu you have to learn the words ending in e and u we have not yet learned which tables we have learned only words ending in a and a we have learned words only ending in a and a have we learned words ending in e and u words ending in e have we learned no so let's learn them today kavi do you know the meaning of kavi the one who writes a poem a poet a poet poet the one who writes a poem this word is ending in E. e ending in e and it's a masculine word which word did we write ending in o and masculine oh. ending in o masculine balaka yes buddha balaka we wrote these words we learned these words ending in o and masculine now we are in learning ending in e and masculine kavi okay nominative singular it's kavi hi kavi hi kavitam likhati can you translate the sentence kavi hi kavitam likhati kavi hi kavitam likhati a poet poet writes a poem writes a poem kavi hi kavitam likhati i use nominative singular why did i use nominative because it's the subject of the sentence kavi hi suppose there are two poets kavi kavitam likhatah kavi kavitam likhatah what is the meaning two poets are writing a poem so two poets because it's dual kavi likhatah kavi likhatah suppose there are many poets those who are writing a poem so then what i have to use कवया कविता लिखता कवया कविता लिखता सो कवि ही कवि कवया नॉमिनेटिव कवि कवि kavim accusative kavim kavi kavi accusative kavi it's long please remember instrumental कविना कविना कवि instrumental cases kavina kavitam kavihi thank you is kavaye kavitam kavitam 
कवये कविभ्याम कविभ्यः We finished nominative, accusative, instrumental, and dative. Which one we have to write now? Ability. Dative. Avitra. Avitra. Please remember what is very, 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 very important. All the words, all the words ending in a, a, e, u, etc. They are saying in instrumental, dative, and plural dual. Bhyam, 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 bhyam. Only bhyam, bhyam, bhyam. Any word. Remember that. Now, genitive. What is genitive form? Again, kabe, again. Here it is. Kavyo ho. And here it is. Kavi na. Locative. Kavo. Kavyo. Kavi. Shu. Kavo. Kavyo. Kavi. Shu. And the last one I have to write is what did you take away? Take away. Take away. Please repeat after me, but not loudly because there is exam. So slowly. Kavihi kavi kavayaha. Kavim sorry. Kavim kavi sorry. Kavim kavi kavin. Kavina kavipha kavipi. Kavaye, Kavipyam, Kavipyaha. Kavaye, Kavipyam, Kavipyaha. Kavaye, Kavipyam, Kavipyaha. Kavaye, Kavipyam, Kavipyaha. Kavaye, Kavyoho, Kavina. Kavaye, Kavyoho, Kavina. Kavau, Kavyoho, Kavishu. Kavau, Kavyoho. So this form is same, this form is same, always. Only change in singular. Nominative and vocative, only change in singular, these two forms are same. These two forms are always same, these three forms are always same and these two forms are always same. Okay, this is always bhyam bhyam bhyam. This is always bhyaha bhyaha. This is always naam. So many words we already we know. Yes. Now remember where it is long. Here it is long. Here it is long. V. Just check. The actually word is e, small e. But here it is long. Here it is long. And here it is long. So only three places. And here it is long. Where? Yes, here. 
So one, two, three, four, five. Five places it is long. Otherwise, it's not long anywhere. So which five places? One, two, three. These two and this is always same. These three are always same. So actually, you have to remember one, two. Where it is long. Otherwise, it's short everywhere. Say it in your mind once again. In your mind. Don't say over louder. In your mind. Kavi. 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 How do we go? Uh, how do we now the most of the work? How do you? How do we um uh, how do we now the root? The root of, of the work. Wow. Of the work. Root. Yeah. Kavi. Kavi. Is it small or long? Yeah. The words you have to learn. Like in English, how do you learn pocket? Sun, moon, same way. You have to learn the words. It's vocabulary. It's vocabulary, nothing else. It's vocabulary. I mean, when we miss a new words, how do we know uh, the rules of the words? For that, you have to know the vocabulary. In the dictionary, is it short or long? And there are some clues for it. Like, like the clue is. Kavi, you will see everywhere, small, 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 small. So it's a small. Long one never becomes small. Nowhere. Only one case where long will become short. We have not yet learned any word which is ending in E. Have we learned any word which is ending in E? I'll tell you that time how to remember it. The long word when we will learn, you will understand. Now, I'll give you vocabulary. You have a question, I'll give you a vocabulary. Everyone has to choose one word and write it. I'm giving you words which are all ending in E and they are all masculine words. All masculine E ending words. Muni. Do you know the meaning of Muni? Muni. Muni. Tell me the meaning meaning of Muni, Ari, Ravi, Sun. Hmm? Sun. Sun. Yes, Ravi. You know. What about Muni and Ari? I'm writing many words. You have to know the meanings of vocabulary as I told you. You have to know the vocabulary. Do you want me to write more or they are enough? Everyone will get one. There are 11 students. All these words are ending in I and they are masculine words. Muni, meaning of Muni, ascetic, yes, there are many words for ascetic, one of them is Muni, Ari, 
Do you know the meaning of Ari? Ari means? Enemy. 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 Four. Enemy. Enemy. Four. What is Ravi? Someone already told us. What is Ravi? Sun. Sun. What is Rushi? Ascetic again. Rushi is again ascetic. Hari. There are many meanings to word Hari. I told you last time if you remember. There are many meanings. If you search the word Hari in the dictionary, you will get 26 meanings. Hari. Many meanings to the word Hari. Green, lion, a name of a god called Vishnu, a horse. There are many meanings to that word, Hari. Monkey also. Many, many words. Yes, Kapi is only one meaning, monkey. Yes, monkey. Hari has many meanings. I think Hari has 26 meanings. Lion, monkey, a name of a god, green color, many meanings. Giri, only one meaning. Giri, mountain. Yes, mountain. Agni. Kapi, we said already. Monkey. Agni, fire. Same as Vandhi. Agni and Vandhi are synonymous words. Vandhi and Agni. Both are fire. Next word, Yati. Yati also has many meanings. What is the meaning of Yati? Yes. Ascetic also. Stop. To stop. Stoppage. And what is the meaning of Ali? Ali. Ari and Ali. Both words are there. What is Ali? B. Yes, B. Black B. Usually black B. Ali. B. 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 W. B. Yeah. And I will write one more word, which is my name, which is a masculine word. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of the word? <laughs> That's not the meaning. That's not the meaning. The meaning, it has the meaning. What is the meaning? Yes? Wealth or you can say collection. The she. C. So, all these words are ending in E and they are masculine words. So, now everyone has to choose one word. Everyone will choose only one word and write the whole table like Kavi. Look at Kavi and write the table for Nidhi or Ari or Agni or Vanni. You have to tell me which word you are choosing because same word will not be chosen by... I have given those many words. Each student will get different word. So choose your word and quickly tell me which one you have chosen. Moni. You have chosen Moni. Is done already? Hari. Hari. Okay. Hari. Hari. Okay. Sorry. Hari. Others. Choose quickly. Ravi. Okay. Others are not choosing. Online also you have got choice to do it. Otherwise you will get whatever is left. Yati. Okay. Yati. Yati. Ari? Ma'am, can you hear me? Lee? Yeah. Okay. Lee. Yeah. Okay. 
She's like, copy, okay. So now online. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Can you hear me, ma'am? Which one will you choose? Can you hear me, ma'am? You have to tell the word which you will choose. Ma'am, can you hear me? Hello? If you can't speak, write it. Which one you have chosen? Already chosen words. Now, be careful. I want you, to, before you start writing, be careful if your word has ro. Ru or sh. If your word has R or Ru or Sh, no will change to no. Please be careful. All those who have chosen words with R, Ru or Sh, be careful. Those who have not chosen, like she smartly said Ali. So Ali, no R, Ru, Sh, smartly. So same as Kavi. So wait, wait, wait. Don't start writing. Wait, let me finish. Those who have chosen Ra Rusha, only two places you have to be careful. Which two places? Na change to Ra. And Na will change to Ra. So only two places, not much. Only two places you have to be careful. Otherwise, it's safe, like Kavi. Now start writing. I'll come and check your word. Yeah. One he is same as Agni. Fire. Agni and one he. Fire. Fire. Agni and one he same meaning. Fire. Yati is again acidic. There are many words for acidic. One of them is Yati. Yati, Muni, Rushi, Sadhu, Bhikshu, Monk, ascetic, many meanings. But Yati has no, Yati has many meanings. So Yati is stoppage also. I stop somewhere, so that is my Yati. In Prosodi, uh, you have Yati. Where to stop? If you are saying a verse, so you stop at that moment. Eight letters, that is called also Yati. So Yati has many meanings, not only one meaning. Yati is control also. Once you finish, I will start checking. You tell me, I'll come and check. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was finished. The one who has finished, raise your hand. I will come and check your work. Yeah. If anyone has finished.
Finished. Can I come and check? So everyone could write it correctly. Only one or two mistakes I could see. Now, this was ending in E masculine word. Yes. How to use it? Same. Kavihi kavitam likhati. Ravihi prakasham yachati. Arihi yuddham karoti. Kapihi ruksham arohati. Same usage. If it is nominative, because it is subject everywhere, I use the nominative in all my sentences. If I have to say that I go with a poet, I want to say that I go with a poet. Aham Kavina Saha. Because with Saha is used, Saha takes instrumental case. So Aham Kavina Saha Bachami. Kavina Saha. So same usage. Usage no change. If it is nominative, subject. Accusative, object. Instrumental case, if it is by, with. If it is to give something to someone, dative, from, ablative, same usage. No change in usage. Okay? I'll write one sentence now. You have to translate that sentence. Thank you. 
Okay, I have taken a funny sentence, not much good meaning. Okay, very funny sentence I have written. But I want to use all the words ending in E, so I have done it in that way. Okay, Yatihi, Agnau, Arage, Kapim, Kshipati. What is Kshipati? Kshipati. Kshipati, everyone knows now. What is Kshipati? Who throws Yatihi? So Yatihi is used in nominative. Yatihi Kshipati. This is the same tense. I have written it in this way because there is no place. So I wrote it in that way. Yatihi Kshipati. Nominative because it's a subject. Yatihi throws. What does he throw? What is the object? Which word is used in accusative case? Accusative case? Kapim. See, he throws a monkey. He throws a monkey. Yes? Where does he throw a monkey? Yes, Agnau. In the fire. There is fire and he throws the monkey in the fire. For whom? For the enemy. Arahe is used in thank you. So for, for enemy. So Yati throws monkey in the fire for the enemy. So what did I do? Very funny sentence. But Yati, Agni, Ari, Kapi. I wanted to use all the words in the E ending words. So I did such a sentence, funny sentence. What did we understand? Singular, nominative, subject. Agnau, like Kavau, locative. Why? Because it's, where does it throw? The place, location. So it's, it's used in locative case. Araye, because it's Araye, it's getting for, for the enemy. Whom does he throw? He throws Kapim, used in accusative because it is object. So I just want to show you, even if we have learned a new word ending in E, which is masculine, the meanings are same. Nominative, accusative, negative. Only thing we learn new forms because it's a new word ending in E. Otherwise, also we have learned earlier. For the enemy. For enemy. 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 For foe. Enemy. He is very angry, angry and he throws monkey in the fire for the enemy. Go eat. Yes, I said it's a very funny sentence which I, I have written, but I wanted you to show that the words ending in E used in different cases having the same meanings for, in, what we have learned earlier. Is that clear? Is it clear or no? No? Any doubt here? In the sentence? Any doubt? Any doubt in the sentence? If no, we will go ahead. The sentence is Yatihi. You can say ascetic or mom. Good person. Good person. Throws monkey in the fire for his enemy. 
Ari is enemy. And Araye is used in native. So for. Throws, throws, not through, because I have not used past tense. A monkey in the fire for his enemies. Enemy, not enemies, enemy. I, I'm very angry. I throw monkey in the fire for my enemy to eat. <laughs> yes. Suppose. I told you it's a very funny sentence, but I just wanted to use all the words ending in e, 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 e. So I wrote a funny sentence. I did not take any word ending in a uh, uh, in that sentence. Ari, Yati, Agni, Kapi, all are ending in E words. Because I wanted these words to be used. These cases to be used. Otherwise, meaning wise, it's not a very great sentence. Is that clear? Now, is it clear? No, what is not clear? Where is the doubt? If no doubt, I will go ahead and now I will write one more word. Then we are going to learn words. Because in your text, you have all the words ending in different, 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 different vowels. Let's learn one more word which is ending in E again. But it's a feminine word. Ending in E, but a feminine word. Earlier we learned ending in E word, which was a masculine word. Yes, the first word which we wrote today was ending in E, but it was a masculine word. And now we are writing again ending in E word, but which is a feminine word. So, Mati, Mati, Matayaha, same as masculine. Kavihi, Kavi, Kavayaha, same as masculine. Matihi, Mati, Matayaha. No change in nominative. Even if the word is feminine, you want the meaning of Mati? Yes? Are you searching the word meaning? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know the meaning? Inside. Intellect. Inside. Mind, intellect, opinion. There are many meanings. Not exactly mind, opinion. My, my opinion. Intellect is much used by word. Matim. Mati. Mati. Ki. Matiya. Can you guess the duel of instrumental now? I told you what is dual of instrumental. Yeah. Dham. Dham. So? Yeah. Mati dham. No change. Mati plus dham. Mati dham. And mati bhi. Mati dham. Mati dham. Mati bhi. Now, please remember. That in singular dative, we have two forms. There is option. We can either use matahe or we can use matke. So there are two options. Matahe also and matke also. There are optional forms. Matikyam is same. Matikyam out.
again in we have two forms optional form Matehe and Matyaha. Again, two forms. Matho and Matyam. Matyoko and Matyushu. Again, two forms here. Because the exam is already started, I will say the word for you. Matihi. Please stop writing and listen. Stop writing. Everyone has to stop writing. Listen carefully. Matihi. Mati. Matajaha. So it's long here. It's actually short, but here it becomes long. Matim. Again, Mati. And here also it's long. Matihi. Matya, don't write. Don't write. Don't write. I said stop writing. Matya, Matibhya, Matibhihi. Hihi is same in masculine and in feminine also. No change. Mataye, Matye. Now Mataye is same as Kawaye. But there is an optional form Matye. Mataye and Matye. Matipha, Matipyaha. Vyaha, Vyaha is same as again. Vyaha, Vyaha is also same as masculine. Again, Matehe and Matyaha, Matehe is same as Kavehe. But there is one more form, optional form. Matipya and Matipya is same. This form is always same in feminine. Accusative and genitive singular is always same in feminine. In all words, ending in O, A, E, E, O. Feminine word. These two forms are same, accusative and genital. Matyoko, same as Kavyoko. Matinam, can you see again? It's long. So here it's long, here it's long, here it's long, here it's long. And here it's long. So Matau, again the same as Kavau. Matyoko, mat, sorry, Matya, Matyoko, Matishu. Mate Mati, again two forms. So one, two, three, four, five. You get optional forms, two, two forms. Mati, again long, and Matayaha. I'll say it once for you. Matihi, Mati, Matayaha. Matim, Mati, Mati, Matya, Matikha, Matihi. Mataye, Matye, Matikha, Matikha. Matehe, Matyaha, Matitam, Matitaha, Matehe, Matyaha, Matyoho, Matinam, Matu, Matya, Matyoho, Matishu, Emate, Emati, Emati, Emataha. Now, right. Try to remember what is same, what is common, then it will not be difficult for you.
whose book is this phule come here for one minute I told you that each separated word should have meaning. Yeah. Yes. So there is no word like ma and amapi. Amapi is not the word. Amapi. Yeah. So it's mam plus api. Mam. Ah. Mam plus api. Plus. Yeah, yes. Here it's if it is evam plus iva, it would be evam miva. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's right. It's evam plus eva. <laughs> Then here it's tada. Plus asit, not tadu. There is no word like tadu. Yeah. Tad is there, tada is there, but tadu word is not there. So mm -hmm. each separated word should have meaning. So there are some mistakes. Here. So I'm just checking the mistakes again. Same thing again, here. Same same. It will be swayam niva then. Ma plus ini swayam niva, not swayam eva. Ah, yeah, it's yeah, a. Yeah, so it's a, a not eva. Um, and there is no o here. No. There is no word like swayam. It's swayam. I think uh, you wrote a plus e, yes, so a. a yes, but there I, is no word like swayam. Here yes, also you have done the same thing. Right. Evam. Uh, so uh, evam is meaningful, uh, not evam. There is no word like evam. Uh, evam. Got it? Like this. Evam plus eva, evam eva. Yes. Same like swayam same. plus eva, swayam. Yes. Got it? What is this? Ma. What is vaya? Ma. Vaya. Uh -huh. Ma. Uh -huh. So it's va yam. Because meaningful word. Yeah, yeah, vaya. Vayam plus asma. Beware. So each word should be meaningful word. Then only it's correct. Got it? Same mistake you have done here. Yes. Got it? No. I don't know meaning. Hmm. Satyam is truth. Okay, I just wanted to show you. This is already done or no? No, no, no. Should I check no, or no? Not done. No, not done. Okay, then take. Finish checking. I have taken the papers aside. Books I am checking right now. Books I will not carry home. Papers I will carry home. So books I will give you back. Wait. Let me finish one, two, three books and then I'll take your finished? Yes. Finished writing? Write hey. It's optional. Sometimes we write hey, sometimes we don't write hey. Hey is optional. To understand that it's vocative, we write hey. Hey, ho, are, all words we can write. To just understand that it's vocative. Finished writing? Now? Again, what we did last time, same thing I'm going to do. I'll give you many more words which are in E and feminine, and they are very famous. <laughs> many, many, many famous words. You have learned them already. Do you know this word? Shakti. What is Shakti? Strength. Shakti, power, strength, yes. Then, Yukti, Bhakti, Dhati. Sanskriti. Bhumi. Prati. Ruchi. Prakriti. Bhutti. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need more. There are more students in the class, so we need more. May we cannot see upper. Find out the meanings of these words. I'll wait for five minutes. Find out the meanings. They are all words ending in E feminine. Oh, man. Upper. You cannot see upper. What is this? Whose book is this? No name. Yeah. No name. Either Chaliwato. I don't know what his name. Either Chaliwato something. Yeah. Is it? It's your name. But what is written here? Your name? Either it's Esther. Chaliwato. What is that? Either Esther Chaliwato. I don't know what you are written. What is that? I don't know. No, 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 no. I don't know. Uh, this is my book of sister. Sister. Yeah. So it's her name? No, no, no. No. I don't know. <laughs> what she has written, you don't know. So write your name here. No. I, I how will I understand whose yeah, yeah. whose book I'm taking? Finished writing? No.
Finished. Certain meanings. Janala Sage Prathashuru. Can we start? Find out the meanings. What is the first word? Buddhi. Perception. There are many meanings again. The word Buddhi. Shakti. Strength. 
पावर स्ट्रेंथ युक्ति ट्रिक रीजन आइडिया देर आर मेनी मीनिंग भक्ति डिवोशन जाति मेनी मीनिंग्स अगेन क्लास ऑल्सो बर्थ ऑल्सो युजली क्लास बर्थला जी नहीं मन जात मे बर्थ अर्थ है जी मे ज्यादा बर्थ हो तो ती जी क्लास संस्कृति कल्चर 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 सी यू एल टी यू आर कल्चर भूमि अर्थ अर्थ ग्राउंड कंट्री और लैंड ऑल्सो मेनी मीनिंग्स मातृभूमि इज मदर अर्थ सो भूमि गति मोशन रुचि वॉट इज रुचि लाइकिंग लाइकिंग लस्ट यस प्रकृति नेचर नेचर अर्थ रीति रीति नॉट हैप्पी विथ एनी ऑफ द मीनिंग्स स्टाइल यू कैन से स्टाइल दिस इज आर रीति दिस इज कस्टम रीति इज कस्टम ऑल्सो रीति इज स्टाइल ऑल्सो कस्टम स्टाइल तुम्हें क्या मिनिंग नहीं तुम्हें रीति रीता करण हिंदी वरुण घेला संस्कृत में रीति का अर्थाने शब्द नहीं रीति मे अपन मराठी मन तो ना रीति पद्धति देर इज वन मोर वर्ड सारी रीति प्रीति वॉट इज प्रीति जॉय इज नॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रीति प्रीति इज लव लव एल ओ वी लव प्रीति वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ रात्रि नाइट नाइट डार्कनेसला रात्री नहीं मनता पे रात्रि ही नाइट 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 so again many words we could get which are ending in e feminine words choose one one word each tell me which one you are choosing be careful if you are choosing r r and sh only in genitive plural no we change to now there is no no otherwise only one less you have to be careful so which one you are choosing everyone has to tell quickly or everything is a mirror <laughs> Only one word where you are pick it. Which one you are choosing? Sounds good. Okay. Yati. Where is Yati? Yati is not there. Yati was there. Where is Yati? Jati. 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 Yatta. Yatta. This is this is not meaning of meaning of love is here. मोबिलिटी मोशन Rithi. Rithi. Okay, Rithi is born. Rosie. Which one? Rosie. Rosie. Okay, she is born. 
Bhumi. That is Bhumi. Bhumi is God. Okay. Online. You can choose the other words which are not written as thick. And write the whole table. Shakti. Which one, Preeti or Riti? Riti is custom style. Custom style. Riti, custom. Ratri. Ratri is night. Night, night, N I G H T, night. <laughs> do you have the text of Avdan Shatak with you? Or do you have the text of the Ukar paper with you? The original text with you? If you have, just give it to me. And which part you are studying? Which eight standards? Huh? Art standards and Pahile art. Okay. So let me check if there are some words. Yes. See, in your fourth stanza, I'm talking about your text, Loka Samyavahara Pravritti, fourth stanza, Jati Vishuddham. So, Jati, Jati Vishuddham. There is one more word, Dyutim Labhate. So, Dyuti, Jati. So, the words are used there. Jati, Dyuti. Manavopi, Manavopi. Can you see? Prasiddhim Anavopi. Anavopi, not Manavopi. Anavopi, Anavopi. Trupti, seventh. Seventh stanza, Truptim Ayataha, Trupti. You can add one more word here. Trupti. I want to see which words are used in your text. So, Trupti is used there. Seventh stanza, Truptim Ayataha. Trupti. Okay, in 11th, 11th stanza, you will have a word, Sandho. Sandho will be like this, Sandhi. But Sandhi is masculine word and Sandho is used in locative. It's used in 11th stanza. Kalau used in 15th verse. Kalau. Again, Kalau is locative of Kali. So if you open your text and search what we have learned, you will get it. Agni. There is Agni word. We have learned Agni. It's there in 16th standard. 
Money, money. We did not write money. It is also ending in e word. Used in nineteen. Vruthi. One more word you can write. Vruthi. So in your text you are adding so many words. See, I got this word from your text. Vruthi. Nidhi is used in 24th words. So I could get many words which are there in your text. There are many words. Mona Yaha is used. So all these you will learn on your own if you know these words. Start searching them. You'll get them. Ravi is used in 29. Prakruti is used in 27. So all these words which I have telling you are used there in your text. Finish starting. Can I come and check? Yes, ma'am. Yes.
Yen, your notebook is checked. So what did we learn today? We learned two important types of words, words ending in E, in masculine and in feminine. Okay, we'll write one more last word and stop. In five minutes, we'll stop. Okay, five minutes. And I will not take a neuter word ending in E because it is not much used. There is a neuter word called vari. But very rarely used. Vari means water. So there are many other words which we can use for and rarely used. So I will not take that. Instead of that, I will take word ending in E, which is very common, which is used very much. So that I will write and then we'll stop. Ending in E. No, neuter I'm not writing. I'm not writing the word, I'm writing ending in E word. And that ending in E word, ending in E word is only in feminine. No music, masculine. Nadi. Very famous word. What is the name of Nadi? Rivar. Yes, very famous word. So let's write that and then stop. Nadi. 
You have asked me how to understand E and E. So now I'll explain it to you. Okay. Wait, don't write till I finish and then you'll get time to write. Don't write. Let me tell you. So you had asked me, ma'am, if it is a small word or a long word, how to understand it. Yes, you have that question. So can you see this word which I have written is long E word. Yes, it's a long E word. And there is long E, there is long E, there is long E, long E, long E, there is long E, long E, long E, long E, everywhere except one place. Which is that place where it is short E? Can, can you see and tell me where it is short? Nandi. Nandi. Only in Mukherjee is short. Otherwise, everywhere it's long. So, how to understand? If it is written long in all the forms, it's a long E word. And E word is only in feminine. We are not learning E word as well. There is no word as well. It's only in feminine. Nadi and everywhere Nadi, Nadiyo Nadiya, Nadi, Nadiyo Nadi, Nadi, Nadiya Nadi, Bhyam Nadi, Nadi, Nadiya Nadi, Bhyam 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 Nadi, so long will be long except one form. So no need to remember. You see the forms and then you understand, oh, there is long. So this is a long word. Got it? You have got your answer? So just copy it now. We'll copy it and then we'll stop. Okay, so all those who are online, it is saying that your battery is running low and it's very difficult to take battery out because it's too long from here and it's just five minutes left because you are just copying this. If you can take the photo of it, 
and continue writing on your own all those who are online can do it take a screenshot on your own or you can just send a photo of it on the group and i will stop the class because the battery is going to get over now okay madam okay the class will stop any moment Thank you. we'll try to finish our syllabus in next one or two weeks and then we'll just practice practice and practice because we need lots of practice so one or two weeks 15th october around that 16th october i'll try to finish your syllabus october last week we'll start practicing <laughs> रिकॉर्डिंग पण ते 30 डेज बाद गेले जे हे मार्क करण्यासाठी मी केले म्हणजे काय चुक असेल तर बाकी पिक्चर्स ते पिक्चर मी काढून हे हे पेन मी कव्हर करू पेन करू हां पेन म्हणजे ते लाइट आहे ना मला करायला हां असं ते चेक एवढं केलं ते माझ्यासाठी ठेवलं ते ओके मी फिनिश करू ठीक आणि बाकीचं आधीच मला नंबर घ्यायचा पण मी बघायला त्यांच्या आपल्याला समजायला त्यांना जसं समजायला चांगलं वाटतं तसं हे करतात त्यांना सांगेल आता होमवर्क दिला होता दहा वर्ष दहा असं म्हणून ते शोधले Bye.
विचारलेच होणार लिहिला ते त्यांना काही बोललेच नाही मला ते एकटी म्हणते त्या म्हणून तुला विचारलं माझ्याकडे सापडले तर मी पण पाठवून फास्ट बघते पण मी तुम्हाला सांगितलं आत्ताच बोलले मी मी भरपूर प्रॅक्टिस घेणार आणि त्या प्रॅक्टिस प्रमाणे ओके आय विल स्टॉप द क्लास ऑनलाईन क्लास आत्ताच मला